Let's calculate the moments of inertia for the horizontally and vertically oriented popsicle sticks. The first thing that we'll want to do is set up our coordinate axes and I've located the origin of the axes at the, uh, the left side of the popsicle stick and let's make a positive value of x uh, running lengthwise down the stick and a positive value of y moving up normal from the stick and a positive value of z moving outward. And I've oriented the origin right at the center of the cross section of the stick so that the positive x-axis runs upward along the neutral or the uh, central axis. For the vertically oriented popsicle stick, let's again run the x-axis straight down the middle of the stick, but we'll rotate the coordinate axes clockwise by 90 degrees so that the y-axis again moves out normal from the face of the stick and the z-axis uh, runs in the downward direction. Now if we want to calculate the moment of inertia, we would calculate two different values for the horizontal and the vertical stick, and you probably could imagine that the moment of inertia for the vertically oriented popsicle stick will be greater than the horizontal. But if you're calculating displacements, note that we're bending the horizontal one around the z-axis, and we're bending the vertical one around the y-axis. So if we want to calculate the displacement for the horizontal stick, we need iz. And if we're calculating the moment of inertia around the vertical stick, we need iy. This is the side view of the horizontal popsicle stick. It will run, again, the x-axis goes down the central axis, the vertical axis y goes up normal to that, and the z-axis is pointing out directly out of the screen towards you. And if we placed a load on that, it would bend around the z-axis. In this case, we're looking for iz. Here's a view down the length of the horizontal stick, and I indicated with a dot the location of the centroid right in the middle of the rectangle. One thing that's often uh, confusing in textbooks is that we'll, they'll label uh, the horizontal axis from this view x and the vertical axis y from this view, but in reality in most situations we use x as the horizontal displacement and we use y as the vertical and z is sticking out at us. So they switch the coordinate systems and they will report ix and iy, but then in your mind you have to do the translation between this coordinate system and the one you typically use from the, cross, or from the uh, side view. So I propose that we, uh, instead of uh, switching it, let's just keep it the, in the z direction uh, horizontally and the y direction vertically. So in this case we'll solve for iz and iy. From this view then the x-axis will go into the screen or away from you. Let's add a couple of dimensions for our rectangle. We'll call the horizontal view. We'll use the variable b for the horizontal view. And for the vertical we'll use the variable h. By symmetry, the centroid runs straight down the middle of the rectangle, and this distance is h over 2, and this distance is b over 2. So let's calculate iz first. By definition, iz is equal to the area integral of y squared dA. So we call it the moment of inertia, or maybe uh, perhaps better would be the second moment of the area. Note that it's important to specify about which point we're calculating the moment of inertia, and in this case we're calculating it about the centroid of the popsicle stick. And this is important to specify for uh, later, more complicated problems. So let's break this area integral into a double integral, or two integrals, and we'll run uh, y squared, we separated dA into dy and dz. Let's integrate from negative b over 2 to positive b over 2. So we'll say negative 1 half b to positive 1 half b. And dy will run from negative 1 half h to positive 1 half h. Note the dimensions or units of iz will have something like inch squared for y squared, and dy has dimensions of inch, and dz also has dimensions of inches, so we'll get dimensions or units of inches to the fourth, or typically we'll see millimeters to the fourth. Evaluating the outer integral, the inner integral is not at all a function of z, so I pulled that out and evaluated uh, from one half b to, to uh, negative one half b. This is just equal to b, and evaluating the, the second integral, I've got b times uh, one-third times one-half h to the third power minus a negative one-half h to the third power. And that simplifies to what you're used to seeing in a textbook, is that iz is equal to one-twelfth times bh cubed. And again, we've got dimensions of length to the fourth, so inches times inches cubed would be inches to the fourth, for example.
if we wanted to consider the vertical popsicle stick, all the math is exactly the same, except now we're bending about the y-axis. And instead of evaluating the integral y squared dA, we'll evaluate the integral z squared dA, which comes out to be 1 12th h b cubed instead of 1 12th b h cubed. And note, because b is larger than h, we'll see a much higher moment of inertia for i y than we would for i z. And a higher moment of inertia means that the vertical popsicle stick will bend less than the horizontal popsicle stick.